Hi, this is Matthew Cratter from Trader University, and today I want to talk about Warren Buffett and Bitcoin. If you're interested in Warren Buffett, his investing style, or if you're interested in Bitcoin and crypto, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Now, one of the objections I always get when I talk about Bitcoin on my YouTube channel and in my courses is how can you like something that Warren Buffett doesn't like? He's on record uh, as saying that uh, Bitcoin is uh, rat poison squared. Now, uh, so I thought I'd make a, a video to, uh, to answer this question. We'll start off with a nice, uh, nice meme here, old man yells at Bitcoin. So Warren Buffett, as I said, is, has called Bitcoin rat poison squared. And his business partner, um, his business partner, Charlie Munger, says that Bitcoin is worthless artificial gold. These are quotes from a few years, a few years back. So I wanted to uh, go through a few, a few reasons why I still think Bitcoin's a good investment and to give you a better idea of really where Warren Buffett is coming from. So first of all, the first thing to notice about Buffett is that he just does not understand new tech. This is a pretty good meme. Uh, Buffett doesn't have a, a, a computer inside of his office. Now that might be smart. Computers can be a, a big distraction. But this is also a guy who just uh, got a smartphone in uh, 2020, in February of 2020. And he's also a guy who is very much against internet stocks and tech stocks for many, many years. And then finally, once they got really big, he bought uh, Apple and he bought Amazon. Now this makes a little bit of sense simply because he's investing large sums of money. He could not have invested in Apple or Amazon when they were small. Uh, but I, what I would suggest is that uh, the reason, the real reason that Buffett now likes these companies is that they are monopolies or pseudo monopolies. And he always has been uh, Mr. Mr. Monopoly. He likes to invest in things uh, that get bailed out. So uh, Buffett was a, a huge recipient. A lot of people don't realize this in the uh, great financial crisis when we had uh, all the bailout, bailouts uh, 11, 12 years ago. This is a list of all the stocks that Buffett owned that uh, got bailouts. Goldman Sachs, Wells Fargo, American Express, General Electric, Bank of America. Uh, and the list goes on and on. And he's always been he's always talked out of both sides of his mouth he'll he'll say that derivatives are instruments of mass uh, mass destruction and yet he uses a lot of a lot of derivatives he was very much in favor of the 2008 2009 bailouts when he himself was uh, a prime beneficiary of them through his companies now buffett has also said that the main the main uh, use case for bitcoin is as a uh, is to facilitate illicit or illegal activities, and he joked he had a pretty good quip actually that uh, if Bitcoin's going to succeed, you should go short suitcases, presumably because drug dealers and the such, instead of having uh, suitcases full of a hundred dollar uh, hundred dollar bills, are going to be using Bitcoin instead. Now I think this is sort of a false concern coming from him, uh, considering the kinds of companies that he has invested in over the years, Moody's is one, this is the bond rating agency that was in, in large part responsible for, or played a huge role in the great financial crisis. What they basically do is they knowingly inflated ratings on uh, mortgage-backed securities, et cetera. And they basically pumped these securities and, and were really were part of driving the whole uh, housing bubble and the financial derivative surrounding it. So this is not someone, you have to understand with Buffett, he, 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 um, he has this this public persona of being the the kindly old grandfather, with uh, who you know who's drinking cherry coke and eating at Dairy Queen, but you have to understand that he's actually he's actually quite rapacious like many like many billionaires, and he's willing to do anything it takes to get what he wants. And so when he talks about Bitcoin being used for illegal activities, it's not something he really cares about. First of all, I should say that Bitcoin being used for illegal activities is just a small percentage of its use. Obviously, the US dollar and hundred dollar bills are the main, uh, the main uh, instruments used by drug dealers and money launderers. Uh, still, he's not against the US dollar. But all of his companies, so many of his companies have been involved in a fraud. Wells Fargo is really the big one. They got in a lot of trouble over the past five years. They're basically opening up, opening up fake customer accounts and then uh, reporting this, they they eventually had to, uh, they're doing this to juice, juice earnings. They eventually had to pay a fine, which for them, 185 million is really nothing. Uh, Wells Fargo has actively helped 
uh, drug cartels. Uh, they're just if you start googling this, it's it's unbelievable. They also took over uh, Wachovia in the uh, Wells Fargo took over Wachovia as part of the financial crisis, and uh, Wachovia was very involved in uh, in uh, money laundering as well. So Buffett loves U.S. banks, and U.S. banks have a really checkered history. They they privatize profits, and then when they blow up, the taxpayer has to pay for a bailout. So he, I would say that Buffett's concerns about uh, money being used for illegal activities. He doesn't mind, he didn't sell his Wells Fargo stock or his Wachovia when, um, or his Moody's when they did all these bad things. Uh, here's another example, Wells Fargo banker helping drug traffickers and the Sinaloa um, cartel. And then of course there's Coca-Cola, which we won't get into too much. Uh, this is sort of the iconic Buffett investment. The basic thesis was that Coke would spread from North America and Europe to the rest of the world. And unfortunately it did. And you can, you know, I'll, I can link to these articles, but great article from the New York Times about a small town in Mexico where there's no water, but the Coca-Cola is everywhere. Uh, another, another article about India, India's population and the rising diabetes since Coke and Pepsi moved in. So these are not, these are not innocent products. Uh, they can obviously be used. People can choose how much they want to drink again, uh, drink of them. But uh, to pretend, uh, M Charlie Munger actually has a famous lecture out there you can look at where he extols the benefits of the Coca-Cola formula. And he especially likes that they add salt to it so that you get thirsty and it never really quenches your thirst and you have to, uh, you have to buy more of it. So the, they, Buffett and Munger and Berkshire Hathaway they like monopolies, they like addictive companies, and they've made, they've made a lot of their money from that. And that's the other thing I should say. You would expect Buffett to be against Bitcoin and against cryptocurrencies in general, simply because he and his business partner Munger's wealth comes from the fiat system. And this is, this is how they grew up. They've, very, they've really benefited from it. And they've been right at the nexus of banks and the government, as well as the, uh, the media. Uh, Buffett used to own a lot of uh, newspapers as well and uh, is obviously a very connected guy. He pretends to just be a, uh, a grandfatherly figure. Now, the thing you should know is that Buffett also held, hates gold. Uh, here's a famous quote from, from Buffett. Uh, gold gets dug out of the ground in Africa or someplace. Then we melt it down, dig another hole, bury it again, and pay people to stand around guarding it. It has no utility. Anyone watching from Mars would be scratching their heads. Now, this is He's a very clever guy. He's a very good writer, and he's very good at these uh, punchy anecdotes or sayings. Uh, but he's also being a little bit disingenuous here. Buffett and Munger both know uh, that gold has this very long history as money and that it does function as a store of value. It has always functioned as a store of value. Now, digging money out of one hole and putting it in a vault in another hole, it is crazy, but what's the alternative? What's the modern fiat system? that Buffett endorses, it's, it's printing money. Printing money to bail out his companies, to bail out the US banks, printing money to prop up the stock market, and in the process, really picking the pocket of the common man by, uh, by devaluing his savings, devaluing the US dollar. Money printing benefits the top uh, 5%. The, uh, the bottom 50% doesn't even own stocks or real estate, and so, You'd expect Buffett to hate gold and anything anything backed by gold. And gold is crazy. It is, it is a weird system, but it's worked for many, many years, and it has served as a store of value. The current system is just insane, and that's why we have crisis after crisis. We have the 2000 crisis, the 2008 crisis, and now we've got the 2020 crisis. And so it's really, it's really never ending in the fiat money system. Of course, if you're at the top, what you can do is you can collect this, these, these government bail, bailouts and make yourself even richer. Uh, Buffett, here's another, another one, uh, Buffett quote, if you own one ounce of gold for an eternity, you still own one ounce of gold at its end. Now this is true, uh, but what he fails to point out is that gold has served as a store of value. Now Bitcoin is just digital gold. It's a much better form of gold. It's more scarce, etc. But gold has preserved, it's been much better than, than cash in terms of preserving purchasing power. 
And the old saying is that one ounce of gold has always enabled you to buy a really nice men's suit. And it seems like that is continuing to be true. If you look up the price of gold now and think how much a really nice men's uh, suit costs, it was true in 19th century London and it's true today. Now, the other critique Buffett has, if you go and watch those, those videos where he critiques Bitcoin, is that it doesn't pay any dividends. It doesn't pay any interest income. But we've now reached the point where the US dollar doesn't pay any interest income either. You're lucky if you get 0.09%. Uh, which is just a tiny, tiny amount. We're at the point where interest rates have moved down close to zero or even below zero in the whole world. And this is sort of the end game of fiat money. And so given the choice, obviously uh, obviously, dividend stocks still pay uh, dividends or pay a form of have a form of yield, but this has also moved down very sharply. And um, gold obviously doesn't pay uh, a dividend or interest income either, but if cash doesn't pay an interest interest income or a dividend, you're not that much worse off holding gold or Bitcoin, especially because we have this money printer going. And that cash that you're holding, even if it pays a small amount of interest income, you're being, your cash is being devalued every single day, every single week, every single year. And especially in 2020, has there been this, this giant amount of money uh, printed by the, by the Federal Reserve. Finally, I saw this, uh, this is a, a Google snapshot, but I, I saw this when I was in Silicon Valley along Highway 101. Uh, I don't know if you can read it, but it says Warren, Warren, addressing Warren Buffett. You said you were wrong about Google and Amazon. Maybe you're wrong about Bitcoin. Uh, unfortunately, this, this billboard came out right at the, the peak, I believe, in uh, late 2017 was when I saw it along the highway. But obviously Bitcoin is, uh, if we're gonna follow in Buffett's shoes, we don't measure uh, an investment by its volatility or by its drawdowns, we measure it by some sort of underlying value and its ultimate returns that you get from holding it over the long term. This is another funny one. If Warren Buffett, he's always famous for saying, be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. So this one says, if Warren Buffett tells me to be fearful of Bitcoin, is it time to be greedy? So I would sum up by saying Buffett doesn't get new tech. He and his partner have really benefited from the fiat system. He's benefited from multiple government uh, bailouts. He doesn't, he doesn't care about the common man. He doesn't care about what's happened at Wells Fargo. He doesn't care about the way, the, the, the health damage that things like Coke have done. And in fairness to him, he also drinks Coke himself and he's, he must have just incredible genetics since he's in his, in his 90s now. Now, if you wanna learn more about, uh, about Bitcoin or about investing techniques that work Buffett has really underperformed the market for the last 20 years. And a lot of people, when they're new to investing, they, uh, they think, well, okay, Buffett got rich buying Coca-Cola. Maybe I should just buy Coke and I'm gonna get rich. But, but you won't get rich buying Coke at this point. It's a, uh, when Buffett bought it, it was a very controversial investment. He paid a fairly high PE for it. And uh, it hadn't saturated the globe. Right now, it's a mature company. Its revenues are stagnant and it functions a little bit like a bond. So it currently pays about three, almost 4% dividend yield as of this recording. And so it's a way to you know, collect a little interest income and it probably doesn't go down a lot, probably doesn't go up a lot, depending on what you think is gonna happen to the carbonated beverage market and whatever else that Coke ends up buying. But you can't, uh, you can't just read about what Buffett did and then copy that today and use it to get rich. A lot of people have caught on to what he did. He's very fond of buying consumer brands, strong brands like Coca-Cola and Apple. He also uh, is quite aware of the macroeconomics. He's aware of, of market saturate, saturation and market growth. And so if you wanna learn some techniques that are still working and you're at home, you have a lot of time now, we're still during the, uh, during the uh, virus and there are a lot of stay at home orders. Uh, if you enjoy this lecture, uh, this video, check out, uh, you can check out my online courses. And uh, I've got a couple courses here on crypto and Bitcoin, a course on how to trade during a bear market. And I just go over a lot of trading strategies, strategies that work today. If you imitate what Buffett did 30 years ago, or what Ben Graham did in the intelligent investor and in his own portfolios, these strategies just don't work anymore. The, the market is constantly evolving. And so you have to stay a couple steps ahead of the market and you sometimes have to do weird things like possibly investing in, uh, in Bitcoin. 
uh, simply because once things become generally accepted, they're priced in. There's no more appreciation. Now everyone agrees that Coke was a great investment, but the upside is, is gone. Just like when Facebook started, it was a very risky investment. No one really understood what a social network would look like. And now it's a mature company and maybe it probably has more growth ahead of it than Coke. Uh, but if you're going to, um, if you really want to generate wealth, you have to get ahead of the curve. Just like the cannabis stocks, a lot of people bought those when they were ready uh, at their peaks. So if you want to learn some uh, trading strategies, investing strategies as well that work, if you want to learn how to read financial statements uh, and sort of learn what Buffett knows and then take it to the next step, you can check out my course on financial statement analysis made easy. So if these are things that uh, interest you, you can uh, get access. Just click in the, the description notes below, click the link, and you'll go to this join page. And you just click right here where it says get it now. Now normally access to all these courses, and again, one fee, one monthly tuition payment gets you access to all 12 or 13 courses. And uh, normally it's $125 for 30 days access, uh, but times are, times are tough now. So I wanted to give a coupon code to all you guys, especially for watching uh, all the way to the end of the video. You're my most uh, loyal listeners here. Uh, if you go down here where it says coupon code and type in YT99, click update. That's gonna take $26 off the monthly price. You can get access to all these courses for just $99 uh, for 30 days access. You can watch all the courses and cancel before the time is up. You won't be charged again. And um, there are no long-term contracts or anything like that. And if there's something missing from uh, the courses, if there's a lecture or a course you'd like to see me make, I, all you have to do as a subscriber is let me know and I'll actually record a whole new course and share it with everyone. And that way that allows this, this website to really grow and become a resource for everyone to use. Listen, I appreciate you listening. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. I hope this gave you some food for thought. Some of it's a little bit controversial. I do admire Warren Buffett. I admire his mind and his intelligence, uh, but I don't think he's a, a completely benign figure. So as, as in life, things are more nuanced and complicated than they appear at a surface level. Thanks a lot for listening. Hit that subscribe and like button if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.